Good afternoon, friends. Today is an auspicious day for the Indian Republic when we have a grand slide victory of a national party called BJP. I'm very happy simply because it's a mandate from, it's the, from the people of India. It's a democratic, uh, democratically elected government. Now, once I, the, once I do a detailed analysis of the leader of this party who's got this uh, unimaginable victory, it's only that this person, Mr. Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of India, he has three distinct qualities. And I must today on talk about these three qualities only which are essential for any success or it must be there in any leader. The first and the most important quality a leader must have and it's called integrity. Keeping meaningful promises. Keeping your commitments. My dear friends, without integrity, your words become meaningless. Whatever they promise in their mandate, if they fulfill by letter and spirit, you are the one which with the credibility and your integrity is highest. And it's the integrity the leadership of the BJP carries. Because of that, they have this grand slide victory. The second, the second most important quality, which I understand, is called maturity. If a person can express his or her feelings and convictions with courage, balance with consideration for the feelings and convictions of another person, he or she is mature. Maturity, I say again, if a person lacks internal maturity and emotional strength, he or she might try to borrow strength from position power, credentials, seniority and affiliation and this is what exactly they have done. So my dear friend, besides integrity, the second most important quality which can be acquired is called maturity. Besides the integrity and maturity, there is another quality, the third quality which I feel is the abundance mentality idea that there's a plenty out there for everybody as the father of nation said very clearly there is enough for everybody's need but not enough for everybody's greed so you should have the abundance mentality this results in sharing recognizing the other person recognition sharing the profits and also sharing the responsibilities this mentality opens up, opens up creative new options and alternatives. It turns personal joy and the fulfillment outwards. If you are happy alone, you can never be happy. If you are happy with people, you can be truly happy. My dear friend, if, if recognition is unlimited, it, 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 it recognizes unlimited possibilities for positive interaction, growth and development. As we give grace to others, we receive more grace from others. That is what I understand from the leadership of the present uh, uh, Prime Minister of India. Let me wish the Prime Minister that he must and I am sure he shall fulfill all the obligations he made to the people of country and he will make, the, make them happy healthy and a versatile democracy. Thank you very much. We shall continue. Take care. Jai Hind.